Good morning everyone. So the time is currently 7.25 a.m. and I'm off to the Savoy Hotel to be picked up for my Great Ocean Road tour. This tour was booked with Get Your Guide and it's a 13 hour tour. It's the tour to do. If you're in Melbourne, it's the tour to do. I've heard amazing things. Everyone said to me you need to go and do it. So I'm incredibly excited. Let's head over to the hotel and start the day. It is a very cold and fresh morning in Melbourne today, which is not necessarily a bad thing as I didn't get a very good night's sleep. That's hostel life for you. I got woken up at 5 a.m. by the girl below me snoring. So I feel like some fresh air this morning isn't the worst thing to sort of wake me up because I'm really, <laughs> really, really tired. After a short 15 minute walk, I reached the pickup point and was on my way to the Great Ocean Road. Okay, so we have arrived at our first stop, which is Torquay. Not quite the one that we have in the UK. It's a lot nicer here than the one we have at home. Uh, but yeah, this is stop number one. We're having some morning tea, some cake and some tea and coffee before we head to... I can't remember the next stop was, I think, to see some koalas was stop two. And then number three is the 12 Apostles, which I'm particularly excited about. Uh, but yeah, it's great to be by the sea, by the beach. Um, it's very beautiful. I'm absolutely starving. So I'm very much looking forward to having some cake and tea. Uh, but yeah, this is the first stop. And uh, I'm super excited for the rest of the day. Torquay was a really beautiful stop off point. It's a seaside town at the east end of the Great Ocean Road Coastal Drive, southwest of Melbourne, Australia. It's known for surf beaches like Bells Beach and Janjuk Beach. After walking around for a short while, I went to get some tea and cake. The cake was okay. I mean, not the best, but it filled me up. The cup of tea also wasn't great, but I think I've only got myself to blame. We then jumped back on the bus and headed to our next stop. So stop number two is the Great Ocean Road Memorial Arc. I just had a photo, which you may have seen on my Instagram by now, but this is stop number two. And then we're heading basically further into the Great Ocean Road. This is so exciting. I was actually looking out the window thinking how Am I here? How did I get here? This is just amazing, like a pinch myself moment of the fact that I'm actually here in Australia, solo traveling today at the Great Ocean Road. It doesn't get better than this. Although there was a lot of driving, the views were incredible. So stop number three is the koalas, or at least an attempt to see the koalas. Our tour guide said that due to roadworks around the area, they've not been there's not been as many sightings of the koalas here recently, but fingers crossed, we're just walking up this hill to see if we can find some now. So we've had our first koala sighting, but unfortunately that is the only koala sighting. There are no more koalas around the area, uh, but nonetheless, the view is beautiful across the ocean. And I think we'll walk back down and see if there's any more, but I think unfortunately just the one today, but still really, really cool to see one in the wild. I saw one in the zoo when I was here in 2011. So it's cool to see one, yeah, in the wild. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's just started to tip it down. So I'm making my way pretty promptly back to the bus. The weather has just been so on off today. Like we get back in the bus, it's glorious sunshine. And then five minutes later, it's raining. And then there's blue skies again, and then it's raining and then it's freezing cold. The weather just is constantly changing, which I feel like is normal for this time of year, but it's currently 12.18. This has been stop three. Stop four is lunch, which is good because I'm really hungry. And then I think stop five is the 12 Apostles. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure that is uh, after lunch. Uh, but yeah, amazing day and excited for the rest of the day. We stopped at another beautiful viewpoint along the way and saw the first of many rainbows we saw throughout the day. Okay, so we have arrived at stop number four, which is food. As I mentioned earlier, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm keen to see what they've got. And of course, I'll show you what I decided to buy.
So lunch was absolutely delicious, much needed. I had chicken schnitzel, peppercorn sauce, chips and some salad. I think it cost me just over $20, so I think it's around £13. I also had a pint of lemonade, which was $5 something, which was around £3. So not too bad, a little bit expensive, but to be expected given we're in a very small town uh, in sort of southern Australia. Um, but I'm now heading back to the bus. I think I'm five minutes early, so I might just go and have a little look around and uh, yeah, then head back on my way. The next stop was a stroll through the cool, temperate rainforest at Mate's Rest. And it's actually the second tallest species of tree in the world. The only one taller is the, uh, the Californian redwoods. Um, but this is actually the tallest... So we have made it to our final stop, the 12 Apostles. Now there aren't actually 12, apparently there's only seven and a half. There were nine and a half, but apparently 10 years ago one of them fell down, I assume one of them fell down before that, so it's actually not 12, it's seven and a half, um, but I'm just heading down now. I don't really know what to expect, I've never obviously seen it before, I've seen a few photos, but not many. So. No expectations, I know it's gonna be amazing. Super excited to take some photos, to obviously shoot some footage as well for the vlog. So uh, yeah, let's head down, shall we? Um, so I've just seen snakes. Um, a bit concerning because I have a very genuine, deep fear of snakes. So let's hope today we don't see any uh, because I will probably freak out and that won't be good. <laughs> okay, I believe it's just around this corner. Wow! Oh my goodness! That's amazing! The wind is so strong as I'm sure you can probably see and hear. Let me just get down these steps and I'll show you all the 12 apostles here in Australia. Look, take a look at this. Australia and they look amazing. Wow, another tick off the bucket list. So our final stop is another beach with the most beautiful view of the coastland of the rocks. It's just the most Incredible natural landscape. I think I have probably, well, top five of the best natural landscape I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty amazing natural landscape and this was, this this definitely gets into the top five. It's just been incredible. What an amazing day. This gate of guide trip, I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to do it. What, what an amazing day. Taken around everywhere, super easy, very flexible, lots of time to take photos and videos. Tour guide was fantastic, giving lots of information. So overall, thumbs up for me, 10 out of 10, would highly recommend. Okay, so all the stops complete, let's head back to Melbourne. Okay, so I'm back at the hostel after an incredible but very long day. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.